Hello everyone, uh, Windy City Comic Books here. Um, I was going through the basement again and went through a bunch of books or found a bunch of books. These are kind of similarly, similarly uh, themed books. Um, horror and science fiction from like the 1980s um, by Eclipse Comics and some other, other uh, independent publishers. Um, these all, I believe, have like uh, mature readers, adult content, that kind of stuff. So. Not for your uh, under 18, I guess. Um, but anyway, I'll just go through them really cool. They said they had some like or really quick. They had just had some really uh, cool covers. But anyway, sorry man, I'm really tired today. Didn't sleep. But anyway, uh, Tales of Terror, <laughs> Tales of Terror number one, first issue. Kind of cool. Number two, just kind of cool artwork. Uh, number two again. Number three. Number five. Number six. The majority of these I bought like back when they first came out. So a lot of them are pretty much untouched, unread. Number seven. Twisted Tales of Bruce Jones, and then part one of two. Again, a mature readers thing. That's probably why I just have grouped with this. But uh, six from Cirrus. Um, yeah, this is Marvel, but this is actually I remember there's nudity in these. Believe it or not, um, Epic Comics. Number one, number one, number two. Uh, number four, and four, and number four. Okay, then we have Alien Encounters. It's number one. Again, Mature Readers. It's right down there. The Illustrated Science Fiction Magazine for Mature Readers. Uh, number two. I just think the art is cool. Anybody knows me or watches any of the videos, they know I'm a cover guy. Number three. Number four. Like a 1950s vibe to it. Those robots and the girl and her hair. Number five. Definitely a 1980s theme. Those thigh highs, that outfit, the hair. <laughs> Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Marilyn Monroe. From that movie. Where the air shoots up from the subway. We'll cover swipe, I guess. Uh, number ten. Number 11 has a dark, uh, dark aliens feel, like Sigourney Weaver kind of thing. Number 12, <clears throat> number 13, number 14. Uh, 3D Alien Terror, number one. number one. Death Rattle, number one. Death Rattle, number five. Okay. We've got Twisted Tales, number one. Number two, oh, Bernie Wrightston. Great cover. Going hunting for heads, huh? Number three. Number four. Number 
number four, number five. Number six, Bolton cover. I think those other ones are Richard Corbin. Kind of horrifying. <laughs> number six, number seven. Number seven, number eight. Number nine, number nine, number ten, and small stack here too. You got Alien Worlds, number one. Number two, Dave Stevens cover. Number three, number four, another Dave Stevens. Number five. Number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, another Bolton cover. And actually, I have these out. Might as well throw them in here, too. Doesn't really fit the theme, but uh, long shot number one. Again, found in the basement, the rest of them. Number two, these I bought all new back in the 80s, off the rack. Or through the mail, I'm not sure. Number four, Arthur Adams cover, nice. Actually, I think he did all the work, artwork for all this stuff. Another Arthur Adams. Kind of looks like Bill Sinkowitz a little bit. Oh, uh, what if Phoenix had not died? What if number 27? And sorry, last one. Bruce Jones by and by Bruce Jones and Brent Anderson. Somerset Holmes. Art by Al Williamson. Number two. Again, kind of cool painted covers. Number three. And number four. Okay, that's it. Thank you for joining me, Windy City Comic Books.